Welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. In today's mini lesson, we're going to be looking at the addition of integers. When you're adding integers, you have two rules to follow. What to do when the signs are the same and what to do when the signs are different. Now when your signs are the same, meaning that you're adding two positive integers or you're adding two negative integers, the rules state that you add and keep the sign. So here in the first example, I have five plus nine. Both are positive integers. So I would add, which gives me 14, and my answer will be positive. When you add two positive numbers, your result should be positive. Here I have negative five plus negative nine. Again, if the signs are the same, you will add. So I'm going to add my five plus my nine. And I'm going to keep my sign because they're both negative. So my answer is negative 14. Therefore, if you're adding two negative integers, your result should be a negative. And this is done when the signs are the same. When your signs are the same, add and keep the sign. When your signs are different, meaning you have a positive and a negative, the rule states that you must subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So here I have negative five plus nine. The five is a negative and the nine is positive. Your signs are different. So you're going to perform a subtraction and you're going to subtract normally, meaning big number first, small number second. Next, you're going to look to see who's the larger number. In our case, it's the nine. The nine is positive, so our answer will be positive. So your answer will be positive four. Here in the second example, I have five plus negative nine. The signs are different. You're adding a positive with a negative. So you're going to subtract. You're going to look to see who is the bigger number. It's the nine. We're going to keep the negative sign. So our answer is negative four. When your signs are different, you must subtract. That is your operation, but you keep the sign of the larger number. Let's take a look at some examples. I have the rules at the top, same signs, add and keep the sign, different signs, subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. Negative five plus one, the signs are different. So I'm going to subtract. I want to keep the sign of the larger. The five is the larger, so I'm going to keep the negative sign. So my answer is negative five minus one is four. B, I look at my signs. They're both negative, so they have the same signs. So I'm going to keep the sign that they have, which is a negative, and I'm going to add six plus nine. So my answer is negative 15. C, I have 20 plus negative 8. My signs are different. So I'm going to subtract 20 minus 8. 20 is the bigger. So my answer will be positive. So my answer is going to be a positive 12. When we look at D, Notice my signs are the same. I have two negatives I'm adding, so my answer will be negative. And I'm just going to add 15 plus four. So my answer is negative 19. Let's look at E. I have negative three plus negative eight. The signs are the same, so I'm gonna keep my sign. I'm going to add my integers, the three and the eight. 
My answer is negative 11. Let's look at F. My signs are different. I have a negative and I'm adding a positive. So I'm going to subtract. So I have 18 minus 11. My bigger number is the 18. So I'm going to keep the negative sign. So my answer is negative seven. My final one, I have six plus negative six. Again, the signs are different. So I'm going to subtract. Now, when you subtract six minus six, you get zero. Always remember zero is neither positive nor negative. It's just zero. I hope this little mini video has been helpful on how to add integers. Good luck on your task examination.